Now this illustration deals with a dwelling unit where say you had a, a four alt conductors, you could drop those conductors down to three alt in accordance with our table uh, 310.12. Uh, that, that would uh, naturally be permissible. Now, uh, in doing so, uh, we have this table 310.12, which has been uh, uh, numbered and located in the uh, 2020 edition. The old edition of the NEC listed 310.15B7 that dealt with the 83% rule. But now we know we are going to look at 310.12A and B, A for a service, uh, B for a feeder that would deal uh, with uh, the 83% rule to reduce the conductor opacity, say from a 4 alt to a 3 alt, or from a 3 alt to a 2 alt. So table 3, uh, section 310.15B7 has been relocated and renumbered uh, is 310.12A, B, and C mainly. Now, as you see, uh, to the quick cap, it's listed. Uh, we list 310.12A for services that let you do the same at 83% of the total uh, ampacity uh, calculated uh, for a dwelling unit using the standard calculation or the optional. You get the 83% benefit. And notice the 192 calculated amps times 83% reduces down to 159, so that'd be a two alt uh, conductor is all we would need there, see, instead of a uh, four alt conductor. Now, uh, the, uh, the 310.12a is for services, 83% rule. 310.12b, as in boy, is for feeders. But then Notice in the calculated feeder loads for dwelling in the boxed in information that table 310.12, and we're looking at our table zero through 2000 vote, phases A and B equal to two alt THWN copper conductors by reducing down uh, uh, two sizes uh, from the calculated load. Uh, the neutral is a number four based upon 85 amps. But that is your uh, uh, calculation that you uh, would look at there and size your uh, conductors accordingly. So the loading phases is 192. The neutral load is uh, 85 amps. It's a dwelling unit as defined in Article 100 of the NEC. And the NEC loop is suggesting uh, read very carefully, carefully 230.90A exception 5, which gives you these uh, uh, permissive rules for overcurrent protection and conductors. Uh, and if we looked at 250.24C as in car 1, 230.42A and B and C as well, uh, then the big one, 310.12, that we would need uh, to uh, review here. So uh, with this in mind then, to uh, drop down uh, from 159, what's an excise conductor? Uh, could we use a 2 alt good for 175 amp? Yes, we could. If we wanted to, but remember, we would have to have at least a 3 alt uh, if we use the 192. But if we use the 159, we could use two two alt conductors, and that's what this figure 6-47 uh, is, is illustrating to us uh, when we apply the exception five to 230.90a for dwelling units. It's allowing the size of the conductor to be dropped with the overcurrent device remaining the same.